passengers to Southwest Flight 461 service from Oakland to Los Angeles. We'll be leaving in just a few moments. Sir, excuse me, is there anything I can get you before we take off? No. <laughs> excuse me, ma'am, how long is this flight supposed to last? Oh, um, one hour. Aren't you that director, Kevin Smith? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Oh. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> Captain, we have a problem. Okay. Kevin Smith is on the flight. So? He's taking up only one seat. Shut up. Oh God, oh God, oh God, I knew this day would come. I knew this day would come. Stay calm. Everybody, stay calm. There's protocol for shit like this. Uh, 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 ground control gals, we got a 270 up here. We have a 270 up here. What's a 270? When there's someone who weighs more than 270 pounds sitting in one seat. Yeah. Uh, this is ground control. Uh, you got a 270? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, okay? It's the director of Clerks 2, Kevin Smith. Good, great. God, should we call the bomb squad? We, we might have to. We don't want anyone to have to be the hero. Right, right. Did someone say hero? Who? <laughs> what? Oh, Captain Jesse Sully Sullenberger! What are you doing here? Well, I was over at the Olive Garden having the never ending pasta be and bread S's. Anyway, I heard something on my FAA scanner. It made by Casio. Wow. <laughs> We can't take the risk, Captain Sullenberger. Please, call me Sully. Ground control two it is? Yes. <laughs> okay, Sully, listen. It's writer, director, actor Kevin Smith. If he hears that we're kicking him off the plane because he's too fat, that could be a PR nightmare. It could ruin Southwest. Yeah, that son of a bitch likes to Twitter all his tweets, tweets about every little bitchy, little bitchy thing that comes through his bitchy little frame with his tweets. Tell me about it. <laughs> I know of Mr. Smith's exploits. That movie he made, Z and Mir make a porno? It was pretty much based on my life. He stole everything from me. What the H, man, so this is payback time. Ground control, are you still with us? We've got a serious problem up here. Listen, this is Captain Sully Sullenberger. I'm here to help you. Take a look back into the area where the seats are. Not familiar with plane jargon. <laughs> See if the man sitting next to Mr. Smith looks uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, he's terribly uncomfortable. By the way, that was cabin, the word I was looking for. <laughs> yes, yes, yes it was. Anyway, listen. Stay calm. Here's what we're gonna do, okay? Listen very carefully. We are going to go back there and tell him that there is a fan of Jersey Girl in the airport who wants to meet him, and that will get him off the plane. <laughs> no, that'll never work. No sane person will ever believe that there's a fan of Jersey Girl anywhere. What the H, man? What the H? Are you questioning me? Are you not asking me? I saved the lives of 155 people's lives by crash landing a plane on the Hudson River. Sully, I think Sully, I can handle the two Sully, I'll do it. Is that you, Cheryl? Cheryl? Cheryl and I are fleeing the Admiral's Club coat closet. Cheryl, you sound great. You're a hot cup of chocolate. What's up? You can do this? I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, daddy likey. All right, here's the deal, Cheryl. You have to go back there, and you have to tell him this. You have to make sure to not break. You have to tell him seriously. You cannot let him know that this is a lie. All right, I'll do my best. You do it, Cheryl, like you did me in the closet. Sully, we're in the was. middle of a crisis. What the age? I'm just remembering. <laughs> <laughs> she's very thorough, lover. <laughs> Trust me, she's going to do this. Just a little Swedish, Sully. OK, let's listen. Excuse me, Mr. Smith. I need you to leave the plane and go back to the airport. What? Why? Because we found a fan of Jersey. <laughs> 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 